So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about how to use feminine energy to get into your body and actually start feeling. Um, this is really important. This is this can really change your life when you really learn how to do this. But before we get into how to uh, tap into your feminine energy, um, I do want to say I am doing a giveaway on my book, my newest journal. Uh, 365 ways to glow up um, and how the you know it's so all over the place obviously I just got on here because I wanted to, to share this but <clears throat> 365 transformational beliefs in um, tra <laughs> changing your life sorry I'm my mind is somewhere else but I'm going to bring it back here I'm going to come back here uh, but it's 365 uh, transformational beliefs for every day. And all you have to do is text 365 beliefs to um, 31996 to be entered to win a chance or a ch entered for a chance to win. I'm sorry, you guys, but I really wanted to share this um, because this weekend I kind of been taking a break. But I had a breakthrough myself and I wanted to share this as well because I do see this um, even with some of my clients. It's we can conceptualize concepts. We can con we can conceptual. What am I trying to say here? We can conceptualize concepts logically in our heads like we're in our heads like um, when it comes to worthiness, when it comes to being deserving, when it comes to our feelings, we understand cer certain things. So for a long time, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to post this video at this point, but for a long time, I was, I saw a coach myself and I work with coaches myself and they were saying, you know, I have issues with worthiness. And, you know, I, I say all this all the time. I'm like, I'm worthy. I'm deserving. I'm worthy. But again, I was in my head. And that wasn't really changing anything. It wasn't changing anything within me. Um, so the breakthrough that I had was, again, with this worthiness thing. Um, I, kept, I kept seeing in my reality things showing up reflecting back to me my unworthiness or the fact that I felt unworthy. And I'm like, well, why does this keep showing up in my existence? Why does this keep showing my in my reality when I'm worthy? And I keep saying it to myself, I am worthy, I'm worthy, I'm worthy. Um, but again, I was in my head. Logically understood what worthiness meant. Logically understood what deserving meant. And I was in my head and you know, I am worthy, but I wasn't in my body. I wasn't feeling the worthiness. I wasn't feeling deserving um, because I was, okay, I'm worthy because I have this degree or this, that, and the other. And I, I was marrying those things together when those don't go together if that makes sense because it wasn't until it hit me when my kids when i was in this i was in this state where i was like contemplating on this worthiness and deserving and i'm like why can't i understand this why can't i get it and my kids came downstairs and i thought to myself gosh they will never understand how much i love them i was just thinking that to myself and it was, I was thinking, I'm like, and they don't have to prove anything to me. They don't have to do anything for me or for to do anything. They don't have to achieve anything. I love them for their, them, their being. I love them. They don't have to do anything, prove anything, achieve anything, say anything, be anything for me to love them and them to be worthy of my love. And that's when it hit me. I don't know why it wasn't until then that it hit me, but that's when it hit me. I, and I see this in even relationships. We put so much stock into 
credentials, why we are worthy of a man's attention or worthy of love is that we have these credentials. We have these degrees and we have this, a car and we have a house and we have these things and that's what makes us worthy. But it's not about that. It's about us. Outside of those credentials, it's outside of trying to prove something to someone or be something, we are worthy. And I, for a long time, was in this mindset of these credentials, my degrees, and my the fact that I own a business, I'm a business owner, and these titles, these things are what make me worthy. And that is not the case. And it wasn't until I saw that in my own kids that made me realize that I was putting my worthiness in these outside things instead of bringing it back to me. Because my worthiness is here. It's not in those things. It's not in these titles. It's not in these credentials. It's not anything outside of me that I was putting my worthiness in. It's here. And I had to bring it back to me. Because you see it, I saw it in my kids. They don't have to prove anything to me for me to love them and them to be worthy of my love or anything like that. I love them for them. They're being just who they are. They don't have to prove anything, you know, achieve anything, get good grades for them, for me to love them, nothing. They don't have to do anything. So why was it that I was feeling like I need to do something for deservingness and being worthy of love and all this stuff? Because outside of those things that I was putting my worthiness, my deservingness in, I am lovable. And it had to come, oh, that's not a good look. But it had to come back to me because I was putting it outside of me. And I just, breakthrough, <laughs> breakthrough. How amazing is that, that I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God and I'm deserving and I'm lovable just because I am, I am. Not I am an entrepreneur, not I am uh, I I have a bachelor's degree. I don't know. I am not. It no. Nothing outside of that. It's I am worthy. I am lovable because I am. That's it. I, that's it. Because it. I was contemplating so hard <laughs> on like my past relationships and the fact that I was trying to prove. I was trying to gain. I was like, I'm worthy because I, I do this for you or I've done this and I have these and I have this credentials and I have, I've achieved this and all of these things. But I'm like, why was I doing that? <laughs> it really came to a point like, why was I doing all those things? When I am a child of God, I am worthy because I am. Just like my children are. Like I had to see it in my own children and the love that I have for them to understand that that's the kind of love I deserve. I am worthy because I am. They, I love them because they are. They are. Not because of the grades they make at school or, you know, anything else. What they can, I don't know, anything else. Nothing. I love them because they are. And I am lovable because I am. And like, that's what I see, like, you know, and it, it took me to, to reflect on some of the relationships I've had. And even I see with, you know, relationships outside of myself, like, you know, um, friends and clients and things like that. And how we are, you know, if you're dating and stuff, you're trying to prove like, I have this degree and I have this credential and I have this and I've done this and I, but wait a minute, you're putting your worthiness into those things instead of bringing it back to you.
I am. I am worthy because I am. That's it. That is it. My children teach me so much. But how amazing is that? How amazing is that? When you, you know, stop putting it outside of you, your worthiness and the deservingness and your lovability, I just made up a word, lovability and these things that are outside of you and you bring it back here to I am and that's it. And that's the feeling because I was in my head, like I said at the beginning of this video, I was in my head and like, I am deserving, I'm worthy. Logically, I'm in my head, but when I felt the love that I had for my kids, I was able to bring that feeling to myself of worthiness. That, that I love them so much because they are, that I deserve that too. Because I am a child of God. That love for me, because I am. And I was able to bring the feeling to myself. That's where, that's where the shift happens. When you are trying to shift your life, we can be in our heads and logically understand, you know, these concepts of I am worthy, I am deserving, I am a child of God. We can understand these concepts, but it's in the feeling. It's in the feeling. And so when I felt that love for my children, oh, that's the feeling I need to bring to myself. Not in my head, understanding these concepts, but bring it down to the feeling of worthiness. The feeling, that love, that love for yourself that love for yourself. And like, I, I don't want to cry in this video because that's not what it's about. But like, I think about the love that I have for my children and how deep that is and how that needs to be directed towards me as well. And that's where your worthiness is because you are, you are, I am, they are. That's it. It's not in these ex external things, what car you drive, what house you have, that you have a house. And these things that we put so much stock in, trying to prove ourselves, trying to become lovable, trying to become worthy. But it's not about all that. It's because you are. That's it. Yeah. Anyways. That is all for this video. My memory is running out on my phone. Obviously, I have a few more minutes, but I wanted to share that. That was a tremendous breakthrough for me and bringing that concept of worthiness, the feeling, turning that concept into a feeling. That's pretty much what you're doing. When you can, sometimes we understand things logically, but that's where feminine energy comes in. It's in the emotion. It's in the feeling. When you can change that concept that you know is true and to the feeling, that's when your life is going to change. That's going to shift your life. And so I wanted to share that. And I hope you receive it and know that you are. You are worthy because you are. That's it. You are lovable because you are. That's it. You are deserving of everything that you desire because you are. And that's it. So anyways, you guys, that is all for you this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe. This is not a cute look at all. Oh, well. Um, if you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And again, I am doing a giveaway on my um, journal when it comes to transforming your life, shifting your beliefs, and this is what I've talked about in this video, is so imperative, so imperative when it comes to shifting and transforming your life. Glowing up as an empowered feminine. 
And so that's um, what my journal is about. So I'm doing a giveaway. If you text 365 beliefs to 31996, you will be automatically entered for a chance to win that journal. Anyways, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace.